Hello, have you ever saw your JavaScript application loading slow because you had to include a big third part library? In this video, I will show you how to address this issue with lazy loading in Webpack 5. Okay, first we have to get the issue. And for, get, for doing that, I will uh, clone this repository. I will show, share the link in the description. Here we have uh, the, the cloning code. Git clone. And I will change the name. It will be webpack pdf example. Because for, uh, for doing this example, I will I will use PDF uh, library. Okay, so after loading our code, let's see if it's working. We go to the page and it's already telling us that something is wrong, core module is not being loaded. Uh, we can see it's trying to load a, dist fo uh, a main JS from this folder. Uh, this file is missing. And indeed, if we try to see if it's there. Well, there are there are no such a file. Uh, in our example folder, we have uh, script, uh, we, we have build script defined, which is trying to remove the dist folder and it's, uh, and it's building the application. If we run it here right now, we will see it's not passing because all the files are missing, so we have to install them first. It just take, takes a moment. Now we run build. It looks much better. And now everything is working as expected. So we have our basic application uh, loaded, but we still have to show our, uh, our issue. So for showing the issue, I will use this PDF uh, libjson. That is, well, uh, it's a PDF uh, library that is uh, pretty smooth uh, to integrate. I will use this example slightly tweaked for our use case. Uh, so here in the source JavaScript, I'm just pasting code that I already have prepared. Oh, that doesn't look very nice. Uh, much better. And uh, this thing will for sure fail because we don't have this library. So if I try to build, uh, that's kind of suspicious. Uh, yeah, I haven't saved my file. So now I try to build npm run install save. Okay, so first I have to I have to install my library, which takes a little moment. And now if I will build, it takes considerably more time. Okay, in within a, about eight seconds, uh, we have everything built. Okay, so for showing the issue, another uh, copy uh, piece of code that I'm pasting. I'm I'm just using the prettier uh, tool to uh, organize my code. Okay, so. Uh, so what do we have here? We have, uh, we are taking the uh, PDF button. So uh, this is this one. And on the click, uh, we are just uh, having having the code from, uh, from the example. And hopefully this code will produce a simple PDF with hello world that will appear in this uh, iframe with ID PDF. So let's, Ah, actually, I don't have to build because I already have uh, I already built the JavaScript and HTML. I'm just using it directly. So let's see how does it work. Okay, 
It takes slightly more time. We will go back to that in a moment. And if I click generate PDF, okay, cool. I'm seeing some, some code that actually works. Okay, so for seeing the issue, the best thing is ju uh, just to use the fraud link. So let's see that our user is on a regular 3G connection. And if I run control R just to reload all the scripts, I can see the script is, well, let's run it again. Okay, so uh, I see the script is slow. So the core module was uh, had a considerable delay in loading because we had we just because of all the all the library we have to load right now is around like half half a megabyte of of data and uh, even on regular 3g the app is becoming very very slow and very uh, non-responsive because right now if i click nothing happens so this is very bad and uh, this is the issue that we want to address so for solving this issue, uh, Webpack provides something a uh, very nice solution, which is lazy loading. And uh, with lazy loading, we have this option of uh, inject well injecting with adding uh, with uh, import the the code that will be that will be lazy loaded. So it will. Uh, it will not be included in the very first chunk that is being downloaded, but uh, will be included dynamically when the application executes it. Uh, so in this case here, they in their example, uh, they show well they they lazy load the code on the uh, in the component when the component is uh, is created, uh, which which helps you which would cover use cases that like for example you have some some framework and the different routes are uh well they 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 need not not every route needs some some heavy library or just like you are interested in in optimizing your code so you have different different routes lo uh, loading as little as as necessary for them to run uh so that would be case similar to to what they have here and our simple case, I I will just run it immediately after loading the JavaScript. Uh, but the thing I want to achieve, I want the code to be, uh, I want the application to be more responsive. So uh, everything above will be already loaded and will be already executed uh, in the browser uh, when we start loading this. Uh, the third part library. So let's just, uh, I have this solution here. Well, this, this kind of like exam way of showing if the, if the code is uh, already loaded. So I, in my co copy pasted code, I have PDF leap. So let, let's add it here, PDF uh, leap uh, and not core PDF. Uh, lib module is missing. So because I changed my JavaScript, oh, I changed and I have to save it. Uh, because I changed my JavaScript, it will be, uh, I have to rebuild. So, well, uh, it still takes some time. Uh, it will be probably around uh, eight seconds as, as we with the previous build. Yeah, pretty much the same. And uh, uh, let me see because the the issue, the issue I see it is like, uh, well I I have only one one entry point because we are using the default uh, Webpack configuration, but what's troubling for me I have only one asset emitted, and it's it's very big asset, so if we were to test our current uh, our app that would be well that the same issue would be still there. Uh, okay, so well, I did uh, I did the I did load the application twice, the the library twice. So here, I still have the import above in the well in the place where I I had it uh, in our first implementation, and I kind of like 
try to load it the same uh, the uh, second time. So well, <laughs> we can we can see that a webpack can manage it correctly and see if right now our code uh, is running as expected. So again, we uh, we expect two different assets. One asset, yes, we have one asset, very small asset, uh, build with our with our main code, and then the second asset PDF lib is being uh, well, it contains more most of the of the heavy stuff, and where is the name coming from? It's coming from this, well, this magic uh, webpack uh, comment. And uh, if we if we remove this part, the the file that is created would be called would be well it would be some like random uh, random number number that doesn't uh, doesn't mean mean much for us, and it, just like because of a troubleshooting, it's better to have it um, well to to use some meaningful name that we can troubleshoot. So let's reload everything again. So this is already what, what we like. The core module was loaded instant, uh, immediately and the PDF library was, was loaded uh, after that. So as you can see, we have uh, two different files being, uh, two different JavaScript files being loaded and the code is still working as expected. I hope this video helps you with the issues you are working on and helps you learn Webpack better. For any links, Check, check out the description and see you next time.